Well, hi, everybody. We welcome you into Gold and Blue Now for this Friday. I'm Tony Caridi. Thanks so much for being with us. The number of vacancies on the WVU football coaching staff has now grown to two. Dana Holgerson thought he had one spot still to fill. Now it's two after Mike Smith announced that he is leaving WVU after just a couple of weeks in Morgantown and heading back to the New York Jets where he will take over as the outside linebackers coach. So two spots remain on that WVU coaching staff. Coach Holgerson told us on the Wednesday edition of the Northside Automotive Statewide Sports Line he'd like to have those vacancies filled in the next couple of weeks. From football recruiting, we move to off-the-field news. Hoppy Kerchival joins us now for his take on what he thinks is transpiring in the ongoing battle between WVU, the Big East Conference, and how it will affect West Virginia in the Big 12. If you look at the comments made publicly by the Big 12 Interim Commissioner Chuck Ninas, by WVU AD Oliver Luck, and by WVU President Jim Clements, they, they're all the same. And they all say definitively that West Virginia will be in the Big 12 this coming season to play football, that they'll go into the conference as of July 1. So they're leaving no room for doubt that West Virginia will be in that league. Now, why are they doing that? Either they know something we don't, which is likely, about the progress of these negotiations. I, I, don't, I don't sense these negotiations are going great, otherwise it would have been settled. Obviously, they have a pretty big difference of opinion about the money, about how much West Virginia is going to have to pay. But I think one of the reasons that WVU and the Big 12 are as definitive as they are in these statements is that to send a message publicly and privately to the Big East and to the court that they're going to go. They're not going to stick around. They're not going to be in the Big East. And so you may as well come up with a number. You may as well come up with a settlement because there's no way West Virginia is not going to be in the Big 12. So if West Virginia is leaving, there's no chance they're going to play in the Big East. There's no turning back now. Just figure out the number, the amount of money that West Virginia has to pay. Tony, back to you. On Thursday, WVU announcing the signing of a linebacker from Northwestern High School in Miami, Florida. His name is Eric Kinsey. He's the final player on the WVU list, the second player from that high school, Northwestern, on the roster. A teammate of his, defensive lineman, Marge Alberry, had already signed. So, Kinsey becomes a Mountaineer. He chose West Virginia in the end over Ole Miss. Now, the Mountaineers have also received their very first verbal commitment for the 2013 class. No, it's not too early to start. A young man from the state of Ohio by the name of Jamie Thompson. He had some pretty impressive offers for a young guy. Offers already from Nebraska and Notre Dame, also Cincinnati and out of the Big Ten, the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Thompson, who goes to Toledo Central Catholic High School, says he'll become a Mountaineer a year from now. From football, we go to basketball now. The Mountaineers resumed practice yesterday after taking both Tuesday and Wednesday off. Bob Huggins and his crew will leave for Providence on Saturday. They'll take on the Friars on Sunday at high noon. This is an improved Providence basketball team. Providence will enter the game after a big win on its home floor on Wednesday over the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. During his Thursday night talk show on Metro News, we asked Bob Huggins for a scouting report on Providence. I like their team. I, uh, Vincent Council has been, I think, one of the most explosive players in our league for uh, a couple years. Hinton, the freshman, is probably going to be the freshman of the year in our league. I can't imagine that he's not with the numbers that he's putting up. I think 33 the other day in a, in a very close loss at South Florida. And members of the Mountaineer basketball team will be meeting with media members later on today. We'll have those interviews for you right here at WVMetroNews.com. That'll do it for us. Have yourself a great weekend. I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been Gold and Blue Now.